Today, I am gonna share with you my top five picks for the best WordPress plugins for event management. And we're gonna dive straight in to the top pick, which is Sugar Calendar, because I really want to show you how it works and why it's my top pick. We're actually gonna start by just getting Sugar Calendar. So you can see some of the features that it has here. This is the reason that we like it, but let's get the plugin and just show you how it works, what we do like about it. If you are looking to get a discount similar to this one right here, then use the link down in the top pin comment or in the description, it will give you that huge discount. So now I've downloaded Sugar Calendar, I can go ahead and just add that to my WordPress site. So I'm gonna do that by going through to plugins and then adding it as a paid plugin because that's what it is. Now in just a second, I'm gonna give you a look at some of the features that I really love that make Sugar Calendar my number one pick. But very soon on WP Beginner, we also have a video coming, which is a full breakdown all the way from how to install the plugin to uses and features. So get subscribed for that. And if you wanna check out that video when it's available, I will drop a link to it at the end of this one. So you can click and go straight through. So now we've got the Sugar Calendar plugin installed. They actually do a really good job of explaining exactly what this is all about. And it's a big part of why I like it so much. It's right here. It says most event calendar plugins are either too simple or extremely complex and bloated. Sugar Calendar is designed to be simple, lightweight, and provide just the major features you need for event management. And that's exactly what we want. We don't wanna be blown away by complexity. We don't wanna be searching for extra features. This is kind of, it's the Goldilocks of event management plugins. It's just right. So let's go ahead from here and we're just gonna create our first event, just straight off the bat, straight onto our WordPress page. No messing around, let's show you how it's done. So here you can see the very simple to use events page. It's gonna let you go through this step by step. Now we're working on a tech website here. So let's create a tech event. So I'm gonna create a workshop and I'm gonna call it how to get the most from your smartphone. So that's the event that we're gonna host, that my web page is gonna host. When are we gonna host it? So let's select a date. You know what, somewhere near Christmas seems good to me. In fact, let's do after Christmas. Teach people how to use that smartphone that they just got. And again, time, nobody wants to get up too early. Let's say we're gonna do that at 12 p.m. When's it gonna end? Well, same day, of course. And let's just make it a nice 45 minutes. We can then come across to this section, recurrence. So are we going to repeat this? So if we can select that we're gonna do it every day, week, month, year, it doesn't really matter now, as we've tried to do this around a time that we think people are going to need it, let's run it every single year. And again, we're gonna run it in December on the last Friday. That seems to make perfect sense. Now we can choose a date and time to get rid of that. So maybe we only run, want to run it for two years or maybe you're only running it for four weeks and then you want it to stop. So you don't actually have to go in and cancel anything. It's going to do it for you. Okay, again, let's go across to the location. Where are we going to host this? So you can put the full address in there. Now, sometimes you're gonna need extra information that might not be present on your site. You might need to link externally, or you might need to link to another page on your site. Say in this instance, it's about a specific smartphone. So we're gonna link to that phone. You can just add the link just here, and you can even change it so the link is text rather than showing the actual URL. Super easy to do, but we don't need that, so we're just gonna move on. So next up we have tickets. This is super useful because you can just turn ticket sales on, nice and easy, select your ticket price and your capacity, and you are basically good to go there. There's a few things to set up, but that is you and your ticket sales set to a capacity. It's absolutely ideal. Now, we're just gonna hold a free workshop, so we're not gonna worry about it, and we're gonna head down to the details here. You can see why I like Sugar Calendar so much. Everything is very simple. It's step-by-step. Step. There's no messing around, trying to import code or do anything silly. You just follow what's on screen 
and it works wonderfully. So of course here we're also going to want to add a description. So I have a description ready to go, something that's going to tell people what your event is exactly about. But on top of that, you can of course add media, add things to make this a little bit more interesting. So if you hit add media just here, it takes you straight through to your media library where you can then select whatever media it is you want to add. Now, I want to add some images of tech, maybe a smartphone. So I'm going to use this one here that is already in my library. So I'm going to insert that into my event. So I've added a couple of extra details like a featured image and things like that. And then what we can do is we can preview this post and see what it's going to look like. It's even going to take on a lot of the aspects of our theme of our WordPress page. And you can see immediately we have the name workshop, how to get the most out of your smartphone. We have an, the date, the time. You can immediately add it to whatever calendar you're using. I didn't have to do anything for it to give that option. I can just add that to my Google Calendar, no problems at all. See the event description, that's everything that I put in there. You see the images that I added, and you can change and adjust those however you see fit. Whatever sizes you want, it can all be added. Obviously, we didn't add the link, but your options are pretty extensive for such a lightweight and really usable and user-friendly plugin. Then again, from your admin dashboard and into the Sugar Calendar plugin options, you see you've got your Sugar Calendar events and you have an events calendar. It's going to show you everything there where you can add it. And if you want to add a new event, just hit add new event up there and it'll take you through the process that I just showed you. You can come over here, you can select multiple or create multiple calendars, which is excellent and really handy if you're managing multiple different events, multiple different sites, that's going to be super useful to you. Then we come across to tickets. So if you have tickets, if we sold tickets earlier, you can actually see what tickets you have available and what orders have been made from tickets. It's all right there in front of you. And then across in your settings here, you can see just a few things that are potentially going to make your life a little bit easier, such as adjusting the time formats and the calendar day colors. That's actually more useful than you might think. Then this is probably the most important thing if you want to switch between the classic or block editor when you are adding or editing an event. So I'm going to change that to the block editor just there. I'm going to save it. And then if we go back to that events page that I showed you a second ago and we add an event, you can now see that you have the block editor, which a lot of you might be more familiar with. Now, this isn't the standard that comes up when you initially install the plugin. However, very, very useful, particularly if you want to start doing things that are adding such as YouTube videos, because it's just, I just find easier using the block editor. Of course, you can do it with the classic as well. And in general, I just prefer this particular setup and most of you will be used to the block editor. So I'm going to quickly create one using the block editor. I'm going to add that to the calendar and I'll show you a preview of that as well. So you can see here we've created an event using the blocks editor and it comes out exactly the same. You've got the event title, the option to add it to a calendar, where, when, and how you're going to get there. The description, I've highlighted a section of the description there and I've added a gallery in at the bottom. Essentially, because this is in the blocks editor, if you know how to use blocks and you know what blocks you want to add, your options are endless because it's like generating any other page or post. If you want to add a gallery, the gallery's blocks is there for you. You want to add a video, it's there. You want to add, I don't know, anything you could think of, you're going to be able to add it to this page using blocks. Like I say, it, you can do that with the classic editor, of course. I just find it a lot easier with the blocks editor and I like the way that it seamlessly integrates with this particular plugin and it's just going to make your life easier, which realistically is why this is top of the list anyway. Now you can see that second event that I created, I created it as a recurring event. So the first event is here, but I've set it to recur every single week on a Wednesday. So it's here, 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 and then if we go to the next page, there you go, it runs for one more week and then I've told it to stop. So what I showed you originally about how long you can run it for, I haven't had to do anything in relation to making that work. It all just sits in my calendar perfectly. I can then click into the event and see exactly the information I have. I can 
edit it, I can bin it, I can just look at it to see what the event is. It's just so mind-bogglingly simple that it had to be our top, top pick for the best event management plugin. So Sugar Calendar excels at creating and promoting events and excels at doing it in a really clean, seamless, and easy user-friendly way. That's why it's our top pick. Some things that I didn't necessarily get to show you there, but you can integrate it with WooCommerce and Stripe so you can take those ticket payments. You can get detailed event analysis and they also have really great customer support. There are a couple of downsides, one being that maybe it's not going to be advanced enough to do really complex events, but obviously that's kind of tied into it being so user-friendly, it's not overly complicated. And if we're being really nitpicky, you could maybe say that the customization options in the calendar are also a little bit limited. But overall, it's an absolute win for us. But there are four other plugins that I want to talk about and let's get into them now. For our second pick, we're gonna think outside the box a little bit with WP Forms. Now, you might already know WP Forms primarily as a form builder because that's what it is. However, it's got loads of really great capabilities that also make it really fantastic for event management. So similarly to Sugar Calendar, this is super easy to use because you've got a drag and drop form builder and you've also got tons of templates there if you don't want to create your own or if you want a starting point that you can modify. Then what I think is really gonna make this stand out as an option for event management are its payment integrations. You can still sell tickets through WP Forms. You need people to input their information and you're gonna be able to sell using the payment integrations. Or on top of that, it also integrates with email marketing software. So if you just want people to maybe give you details or express interest in coming to an event, you can collect that data and you can use it with your email marketing services to then send out emails to people in order to promote or provide tickets or other information related to your event. So essentially, to run an event, all you might need is something like WP Forms, which has hundreds, thousands of other uses on your WordPress page as well. So considering my kind of left field pitch there by using a Forms plugin, spoiler, this won't be the last time I suggest that, we might wanna look at exactly what it is you want from an event management or event creation plugin for WordPress. So I've kind of boiled down four elements that you really want your plugin to be able to do, and we're looking for each of the suggested plugins to do these and to do them well. So you're looking for something that's gonna be able to create events, manage your RSVPs, integrate with payment systems. That's gonna be very important if you are selling tickets, and we want your event management plugin to make all of that nice and easy very user-friendly. That's our key criteria. So now we know exactly what it is we're looking for. We're going to look at another Forms plugin in order to create your event. And this time we're going to look at Formidable Forms. Now, Formidable Forms is a little bit more advanced than WP Forms, and it has something called Views. It's part of their pro plan. And essentially what Views is going to be able to let you do is essentially any information that you enter, you can then display. And this allows you to do a whole host of things, including definitely create events or an event calendar. Formidable Forms also has a huge number of templates you can use. It is still nice and easy to use, although maybe not quite as intuitive as WP Forms, and you can set it to display all of your event information on the front page, which is exactly what we want. So in terms of thinking outside the box, maybe using a form builder as your event management system, there are two really fantastic options there that you can use for a whole multitude of things, and they're both going to be great. WP Forms, 
and formidable forms. Back over here for a second, because I want to show you something by Smash Balloon, which is the Facebook Feeds Pro. Now, you all know that on Facebook, you are able to create events. Well, what if you could just create those events on Facebook and then display them onto your web page, onto your WordPress site? Well, Smash Balloon is gonna allow you to do this. Now, Smash Balloon works with basically all your social media, everything you could possibly want. But in this instance, because we want events, we're focused on Facebook. So you want the Smash Balloon plugin. If you want an in-depth, detailed breakdown of Smash Balloon, do get subscribed. We'll have one on the channel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna add a new feed. So what we're doing here is we're just actually adding our feed, like we're adding something from Facebook. We're not doing anything else. So let's say we are gonna add an event. There we go, nice and straightforward. Display events from your Facebook events page. And next. So on here, you're gonna have wanted to add your WordPress, uh, your Facebook page, sorry. So you're gonna want to have selected that and moving on. And then you can select a theme. It's nice and straightforward. So I've just gone through, that was literally like four or five clicks. And I have been able to tell this to create an event page for me using all of the events that I create on Facebook. So if you have a particularly large social media following, one on Facebook particularly, and you can just essentially get them to follow the event on Facebook, you put the event on your web page, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. This is a really great tool. So here your setup's easy, it's gonna be mobile friendly. You've immediately got some social proof to make people trust you, trust your event, and even trust your page overall. If you've got a lot of people on social media, like I mentioned a minute ago, and you can showcase that on your website, you are developing social proof, people are more likely to trust you. The downside is obviously that you are fully reliant on Facebook. There's no, there's nothing else that you can add or change. You just have to go with what Facebook gives you and port that over directly onto your web page. But in a lot of instances, that's not gonna be a problem at all. So big social media following, Smash Balloon is exactly what you should be looking at. So let's swing back to a dedicated event managing system for a second with the events calendar. So similarly to what we showed you in Sugar Calendar, you're gonna get things like event reoccurrence or multiple calendars that you can play with and amend to your requirements. I do like the Google Maps integration with this in order to help you get to exactly where the event is supposed to be located. As required, there's ticket selling through this particular plugin. You've also got customizable templates, similar to what we mentioned with the Forms plugins. And they do have, again, similar to Sugar Calendar, really excellent customer support. The downside that we definitely want to highlight here is that you're going to require additional plugins for things like payment processing, which can mean the whole experience gets a little bit pricey. It might not all be bundled together as one, exactly what you need out of the box. 